hope you're all well and enjoying the start of spring and also being back at school now too, which is really exciting. It is Sunday the 21st of March today, which means that we have been hosting Jam Club and Sunday Club online now for about a year. Can you believe it? It's been a bit of a strange year though, really, hasn't it? I have been thinking about all the events of the last year and we often hear people talking about how it's been a difficult year. Some of you may have found things a bit tough too, maybe some of your families as well or your friends. I've been spending some time this week looking at our family photos from the last 12 months and when I look back I actually think we've had some really good times and have some great memories. Um, there's lots of things in our life to be thankful for which have brought us lots of joy as well. So this year has really got me thinking about what's important to me in life and I think the most important things that we've decided are our health and our family. So today I'd like to talk to you about how we can be more thankful to God and have a think about some of the things in your own lives. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm thankful for and you can have a think at home too. When we think about God and everything he has created for us, we can't help but feel thankful. Jane says, every good and perfect gift is from above. Okay, so let's dig a little bit deeper into how we can appreciate these gifts on a whole new level. Have you ever had a bump or fallen off your bike maybe? Did you ever break a bone or scrape your knee? Isn't it amazing how your body can heal all by itself? For most of us, blood starts to automatically clot and bones know how to rebuild themselves. We can thank God for that amazing human body technology. This year I'm also really thankful for our NHS and all the key workers involved in caring for others. I'm thankful for the clever scientists who have created medicines and a vaccine to combat coronavirus. And that brings us so much hope for a brighter future ahead where we can be together safely with our families and friends again. God didn't have to make so many delicious foods for us to eat. He could have provided all of our nutrients that we need to eat in a boring grey block. But instead, he provided countless ways for us to enjoy ourselves at mealtimes, with different types of fruits, vegetables, fish and meat all unique in their appealing tastes, colours and smells. This year, like many of you, we have definitely enjoyed lots of yummy food. We have had a shot at growing our own, baking lots of treats like banana bread and ordering takeaways for special celebrations or when I've been too tired to cook. I am so grateful for God's bounty, which he has provided during these uncertain times. We have been truly blessed and I have far too many pictures of food highlighting just how fortunate we have been. At Christmas time and throughout the year, we've also thought of others who are in need by donating food to the local food bank, which has been under more pressure than ever this last year. So we thank God for how lucky and fortunate we have been. Do you have a pet that brings you joy? God didn't just stop at cats and dogs. Scientists believe that there are one to two million species of animals on the earth and they are still discovering more. By the way, there are also 400,000 flowering plants to enjoy. Which is your favourite? I think for me, my favourite flowering plants would be snowdrops and the blossom in springtime. I find this such an exciting time of year as we look forward to the spring and summer coming ahead. It's important to thank God for friends and family this year more than ever before. We have really missed seeing our friends and most of all our extended family of grandparents, siblings and cousins. But we have treasured any family time together and thank God for looking after the ones that we love and keeping them safe. 
Let us also be more thankful by counting our blessings in more specific ways. Do you lie on a bed instead of the floor? Is there heat for your home in the winter? Does your home have running water so you can drink, stay clean and even play? These may seem basic, but we are so fortunate for all we have and must remember that others go without. Do you love playing in the snow too? We were so lucky to have all that snow back in the school holidays. We had a couple of times, didn't we, throughout the new year, where we had great fun in the snow. It was brilliant. How about swimming in the ocean or playing on the beach? This is something that Sophie and Aaron love to do all through the year. Have you been grateful for fun in the sun? When I look back last year, I have so many happy memories of days playing out in the sunshine and going right back to March, April, May, we had fantastic spring and summer time of lovely long days in the sunshine and I'm so grateful for the fun and good times, good memories that we had. Now that you are back to school and nursery, I'm sure you and especially your parents will have a lot to be thankful for. No more homeschool. Hooray! Finally, we are so thankful for our faith in God and our church family, which have brought us much peace, hope, joy and love during difficult times. We we'll look forward to joining you all again soon at St John's and Kings Park Church and we thank God for the amazing people involved in the church. From Keith all the way through all his helpers and people involved and all the people that have helped with online services and keeping us connected. We send our love to all of you and can't wait to see you all soon. Thank you. Now, see if you can make a list of 10 specific things that you're thankful for and then you can tell God all about them in prayer. You might be thankful for music, sport or a hobby. Have a think and see what's at the top of your list. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say